I was just out here walking and thinking about my previous project and you know there was a lot of epoxy resin leftovers from that project. What can we make from all of this? Maybe we can try to make some potions. I've always wanted to make potions and this is just a perfect excuse to do so. So to turn this into a bit more desirable shape, I need a belt sander and I don't have a belt sander. And also I have to carve in epoxy and I don't know how to carve in epoxy. In short, I don't have the tools, I don't have the skills to do this, which makes me think, let's freaking do this. But before we can do anything, I have to do as I always do, which is to draw up some design. So here we have them, but I'm not gonna make all of them because that's too much work. I've kind of landed on this top right one because I think it looks kind of interesting and really pretty. So my thought with this design is it's going to be like a hexagon shape if you see it from above. So I was thinking to take one of these spheres and use a belt sander to sand it down to a hexagon shape, but I don't have a belt sander. Okay, what I actually meant was I don't have one of these nice bench-mounted ones like this one, which is kind of the one I need. All right, let's continue. But they have this thing. So I was kind of thinking that I could make some kind of jig to put it upside down and make a stopper like here so I can use it as a belt sander. It's gonna be too much of a hassle to hold it and sand it at the same time. To make my life easier, I'll make a jig. and. I can probably use it later, so it's not a waste of time. Let's make a check. Here it is. Oh finished up. First of all, the belt sander is completely detachable by just removing a wing nut here, one on the side, on the back and the other side, and then we can just remove this whole top piece and the belt sander itself. Pretty easy. Oh yeah, and this acrylic is actually glued to the top, but uh, it didn't look very nice, so we just added uh, this uh, duct tape for some aesthetic purposes. <laughs> and without further ado, let's test this baby out, shall we? My goodness, this tool is incredible and I finally understand what the belt sander hype is all about because, oh my god, <laughs> look at this. I mean, this shape was so easy to make with a belt sander. This is what has been missing from my life. <laughs> There is one thing, however, I have to fix before I can cast this into a, like an epoxy cube. And that is that I have to cast the bottom of the potion first. Because to get that like glass effect, I have to make a th quite thick layer of just transparent epoxy on the outside of this. So it actually looks like a glass vial with some liquid in it. So what I think I need to do is to build like a mold and cast only the bottom of the potion first and then I can put this on top of the bottom and pour the rest of the epoxy over that. Well, let's make some molds. since I poured the thin layer of epoxy, so let's have a look. Yep, it's looking good. It's completely clear, it doesn't look like it has been leaking. Very nice. This foam board material that I've used to make the mold is so nice to work with. Like, it's, it's super easy to cut and just overall ve very nice. Yeah, so the bottom part or the bottom like glass layer of the epoxy is nice. This is not completely ready to be cast because the top is looking hideous. Uh, <laughs> 
Other than that, I'm not gonna do anything else to it. Now, I know this channel isn't really about tanks, but without World of Tanks, this video wouldn't have been possible. So, you have our thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry. World of Tanks is a free-to-play and free-to-win game with over 550 tanks you can play as. You can modify and upgrade your tanks by earning experience and there are loads of different types of tanks. Light, medium, Herbie. destroyers, artillery, and etc. It's all about tactics and destroying the enemy! Check out the link down below to download the game, it helps us out. And also, if you're a new player, make sure to enter the code TANKTASTIC to get a free tank and some gold to get started. And back we go! Once we have carved the top here, I think we can just put it in the mold and pour the epoxy over it. And oh my god, I'm excited about that part! <laughs> but yeah, first let's do the carving. Alright, let's open it! <laughs> Warped a little bit in the corners. <laughs> okay! Astrid is like on the windowsill over there just staring at me like... What are we doing? Oh my god, so much hot glue. <laughs> I did not expect this to be this hard. Hi Astrid. A screwdriver? Release yourself! I'm gonna get back to you soon, okay? I couldn't pry it off, so I'm gonna have to bring this to the workshop outside and take it off with the bands off because... Uh... Oh, and I, I probably should have worn a mask. Always use protection, kids. By the way, you might have seen me wear this cool shirt throughout the video and I just wanted to let you know that it will only be available for a couple more weeks and after that it will be gone forever. Hi, Ostri. I'd hoped I wouldn't have had to like use a saw to get the mold off. It, it was stuck. It was completely stuck. So if you know of any good materials to use as molds for epoxy casting, I'd like to know. Especially if that is not silicone. Silicon? Silicone? Sil silly? Silly. <laughs> I think to get off as much mass as possible, first I have to go back to the bandsaw and cut off like some of the corners here and try to follow the lines of the hexagon inside. And glasses. I have evolved! Ah! Yeah, no, that, that was too wobbly. I'm really not comfortable cutting it this way, so I think I'm just gonna move on to like a handsaw maybe. This isn't working. Wait. Uh, okay then. How? This bandsaw continues to impress. That was crazy. <laughs> I mean, look at the clean cut. I don't want to take too much more of it. So far, so good. I believe we can do it. I hope. <laughs> Oh man, here we go again. Like, I'm stoked about getting it done and all that and getting the shape right. I'm just not very stoked about all the mess.
So casting a thing in another thing and trying to get it to the same shape, easier said than done. It's kind of hard to see where I have to sand and how much I can actually sand. So I've been kind of like holding it up against the light and trying to not sand away too much, but I think I have in some parts and it's all very difficult. <laughs> Anyway, so I think the next part is just going to be removing as much material as I can on top here and kind of start making out the bottleneck at the top. Let's go to the bento. Finally, it's starting to look like a potion. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's still not looking like the push, but... So uh, now I just have to sand for a couple more hours, probably. Okay, let's go! I thought that styrofoam was my mortal enemy, but it turns out I have a new one. Epoxy dust. That stuff, it sticks to everything, it's on every surface, and it's impossible to get off and... Fuck. I hate epoxy dust. Anyway, <laughs> there are two things I want to do just to complete this potion. One of those is to add or wrap some leather cord around the bottleneck. And the second is to put a cork on top. Just like drill a little bit down, cut out the cork and put it in it. Is it called cork? I think so. Let's complete this potion. <laughs> thoughts about this finished potion. Well, first of all, the effort of making like the glass layer on the outside feels kind of wasted because I sanded away way too much. And I think that problem kind of boils down to the fact that the liquid on the inside is very light. So if the liquid was darker and a bit more opaque in a different color, I think it would be easier to separate that from like the, the clear glass layer on the outside. Also, it looks kind of fake and boring. I know, especially the leaves look very fake. I'm very well aware. But like when I wrapped the cord around it, it just, it didn't do it for me. It was just so plain and boring. I just had to add something and this was the only thing I had on hand. But I think it could work well with some different leaves or some feathers or something instead. I think it looks great from a distance but not very nice up close because you can see how fake it is. I like the design, but I don't like the execution. <laughs> I think I know what to do and especially what not to do next time because I really think I could do better. And finally, thank you World of Tanks for sponsoring today's video. Check out their game by clicking the link down below. If you're a new player, enter the code TANKTASTIC to get started. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.